Hi, welcome. Today, we will learn about the different tools we have available for pitch editing in Synthesizer vStudio 2 Pro. We know that editing pitch can be a challenge when it comes to vocal production. Sometimes it can be flexible, but sometimes it needs to be very specific. That's why we prepared this video, covering everything from the general creation of vocal characteristics to fine-tuning the most nuanced performance details, such as transitions between notes, vibrato control, and more. So, let's get started. Okay. Once you're inside the software with a voice chosen and some notes and lyrics inputted, let's open the notes panel by clicking on this icon. First, we need to select the notes we want to modify, so let's hear our example. I'm using Hayden 2, a male voice perfect for R&B, ballads, pop, and much more. Let's give it a listen. Now that I feel you really closer, I just want to know if you're looking for some closure. Baby, you know time is the only thing I don't have. The rest of the world is yours now. Okay, if you want to modify the whole group, you just have to press Command A or click and drag to cover the notes you want. Here we have the vibrato modulation parameter. We use it to amplify or reduce vibratos. As you can see, the changes are shown and reflected on both the pitch curve and waveform. Let's try increasing it. Baby, you know time is the only thing I don't have. The rest of the world is yours now. You can hear how the rest and world get more trembly in terms of pitch. Now, let's decrease it. Baby, you know time is the only thing I don't have. The rest of the world is yours now. Okay, let's put it back to the center. For this next example, I'm using Ayame 2, native in Japanese but capable of singing in any of the languages we have available just like any voice you can find in our store. The next feature we have is the expression path, which affects both pitch and timbre. First, let's hear this section. Is there a way for us to know? Is it impossible to say? What we're feeling doesn't need to have a name. Okay, so the expression path has four modes available. Rigid mode straightens the pitch curves, leaving only fluctuations on both end and start points of notes. Is there a way for us to know? Is it impossible to say? Vibrant mode does the opposite by exaggerating the expressions. It also strengthens the timbre slightly. Is there a way for us to know? Is it impossible to say? Refined mode works kinda like a preset. It is trained with user feedback, so it sounds better than the default setting to most people, although can sound a little bit generic over time, depending on how it's used. What we're feeling doesn't need to have a name. Lastly, Rogue makes the dynamics sound close to the original recordings we have trained the voices on, so the pitch can sometimes sound a little bit off. What For now, let's leave it on default by double-clicking on the path. Also, it is possible to adjust note by note. First click on an empty space to reset the selection, then select the note again or any number of notes you want to change. What we're feeling doesn't need to have a name. Great. Another useful feature is AI retakes. For example, sometimes you may notice that the pitch is a little bit off, or is not what you want exactly, but you are not sure what will be a better way to sing it. And just like working with a real singer, we can ask Synthesizer vStudio 2 Pro to create a new take for us, but focusing on changing just the pitch. For this example, I'm using Felicia 2, a quite versatile voice for very intense genres or soft styles that require passionate but tender performances. Let's give it a listen. <laughs> Now, with the whole group selected, we just have to click the Pitch Retake button to let it regenerate the curve randomly. But everything I dream about you is so real. Tell me how do you feel? Okay, let's give it a couple retakes to this section over here. 
and let's hear it. But everything I dream about you is so real. Tell me how do you feel? Perfect. Okay, so the vibrato modulation slider is useful, but what if you want the vibrato to appear only at the very end of the note? You know, to generate a transition over time. We can adjust that transition inside the parameter panel. Click on the plus icon at the bottom of the piano roll to add a parameter panel. Then choose vibrato envelope as the parameter to be automated. To determine where we are going to change the vibrato, let's hear our example first. I'm using Kevin too a very energetic high-pitched voice, but today we are using his low range and some vocal modes and parameters configuration for a softer result. So, let's listen to it. If you want me, baby, pull me closer, don't you know that my heart also skips a beat? When I see you here... Great. Now, let's use the drawing tool and create a curve. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, so first no vibrato and then more of it. A lot of it. <laughs> okay, let's hear it. If you want me, baby, pull me closer. Don't you know that my heart also skips a beat? When I see you here. Very useful if you want to control those dynamics and get the best performance possible. But if you are looking for even more precise editings, Synthesizer VStudio 2 Pro has included a new feature called Smart Pitch Controls. Let's hear our example first. What I feel Doesn't have any words When you're touching my hands Okay, to use the smart pitch controls, go to the piano roll and click on the control points tool. Double click where you want to create the control point, and now the algorithm will consider the point when generating the pitch curve, so you can create all kinds of vocal inflections. Let's do a couple here. Okay. This is also a great tool for controlling vibrato. So, let's move it here. Okay. Let's listen to it. What I feel Doesn't have any words When you're touching my hands There's also an automatic tracing behavior. This means that if you select a pitch curve using the control points mode, control points will appear along the turning points of the curve. This allows you to change the vibrato speed or depth very easily as well as emphasize or flatten the transitions between notes. Doesn't have any words when you're touching my hands. Perfect. <laughs> and last but not least, we have the control curves, which allow you to override the pitch curve completely. Now that I feel you're really closer, I just want to know if you're looking for some closure. Baby, you know time is the only thing I don't have. The rest of the world is yours now. As you can hear, we can create interesting inflections and pitch correction effects with this tool. If you want to delete the manually drawn curve, just right click and drag over it. And you can combine both smart pitch controls by selecting a manually drawn curve with the control points mode and resize or move it around. Great! So after applying all changes and creating some harmonies, let's hear our complete example. Now that I feel you're really closer, I just want to know if you're looking for some closure. Baby, you know time is the only thing I don't have. The rest of the world is yours now. Is there a way for us to know? Is it possible to say what we feeling doesn't need to have a name? So 
Don't you know that my heart also skips a beat? When I see you hear what I feel Doesn't have any words All I can describe When you're touching my hand be close to the end Now that I feel really closer I just wanna know if you're looking for some closure Baby, you know time is the only thing I don't have the rest of the world is yours now. Beautiful. I love it. <laughs> okay, so today we learned how to edit pitch in many different ways inside of Synthesizer V Studio 2 Pro. Whether it is asking the software to provide us with a guideline to follow, or the possibility to adjust the most nuanced details of a performance, both options can be achieved with just a couple clicks. Thank you so much. Follow us so you can get more done in less time with Synthesizer V. And of course, see you in the next video.